Hey guys, my name is Laszlo Leber, welcome to my channel Coaching. Today I would like to demonstrate that how you can build multi-architecture Docker images using Buildex. At my company, at Lufthansa Systems, I have to find this out because the Docker images that we are created are used on multiple devices with different architectures. So I would like to show you this uh, flow and let's get started. Okay, you can find the URL of this article under my video. So in the first article, you can see how we can use the Buildex to build multi-architecture Docker images. We will be able to simply build uh, multi-architecture Docker images with Buildex with one command. Uh, it will work for ARM and x86 64 as well. The good thing is that no changes to Docker files or source code are needed to start building for ARM and the old way is uh, that you can uh, build your docker image uh, for each platform separately so you have to tag each build and uh, you have to push it to your docker registry after that you can create a manifest which is pointed to the previously created docker uh, images and uh, tag it as well and push it to the docker registry basically buildx does the same but you can do it with a single command. The prerequisites for this tutorial is to uh, have a, an installed uh, Docker desktop on your system. You can check out my very simple node application, which is Dockerize. You can find the Docker file in this repository as well. We will use it as an example now first command that we are running is docker buildx ls. My docker daemon is not running at the moment but the command is working. I can see my default builder and now we will create uh, an own builder named my builder. So copy this command as well and run it. Okay, my builder is created. Now the actual builder is still the default, but we can switch between the builders. So here is the command which is used to set your actual activated builder to my builder. And now you can see that the actual builder, the active builder is my builder. Now I'm starting my Docker daemon because for the next command I will need it. So we will build the Docker image with the simple command for uh, ARM and x86 platforms as well. It could take long minutes. Here you can see the Docker file. It's very simple based on the node image and uh, and here you can see the source code of our very very simple node.js application i have a little story about at my company lufthansa systems i had to investigate that uh, why the request body was cut when it arrived to the backend service our backend service by the way is a spring boot application and i had to check that whether is uh, whether the problem is coming from the nginx proxy or something is wrong inside the backend application and finally i replaced the backend service with this uh, uh, little node.js application uh, on Do docker swarm so i could check that the header and the request body arrived without any problem to this node.js application so i told it to our backend devs and they could investigate the backend java code and they found that the logger is the problem and it cut the request body and we lost some data so it could be helpful this application will send you back the header and the request body which you send it to uh, it so 
I can recommend this uh, solution for investigations like this domain them so every uh, docker command will run uh, in the number of the target uh, platforms okay it is builded so now i can check it on docker hub because it is pushed there here you can see that it arrived to docker hub under the tags i can see the latest and i can see the three versions here if i go inside here i can see them here as well in the drop down by the way when the client will pull this image then it will pull the version um, which is appropriate for the actual system one more thing is a ci cd flow for example we are using conico in our build uh, flows in our ci cd flows and conico is not uh, appropriate for building multi-arch images one solution could be to use for example this image here if you use this image you can easily use the build x inside your ci cd pipeline just like we did it in local environment okay thank you very much for watching if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't done yet and uh, in the future i would like to share more front-end related tutorials not just devops related so thank you very much again and have a nice day bye